Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So in previous video, we have seen how to establish the authentication to our cloud orchestrator using Postman, right? So the same thing I'm going to show you how we can do it using HTTP request. So for that, uh, before uh, before to this, you I believe you might be having a good understanding of what to choose between HTTP request and H orchestrator HTTP request. If you haven't watched that video, yeah, I can provide the video link in the description. You can just go and check it out. So that will give you enough understanding of why we are switching to this uh, HTTP request activity. And if you have a requirement of using orchestrator HTTP request, then you don't have to do any authentication because it will be directly connected to your orchestrator so that uh, it doesn't have any requirement to do the authentication. So here, uh, if your requirement is doing an authentication using HTTP request, I'll show you how you can do that. So first of all, I'm just pulling the HTTP request activity into my workflow. So this gives me the wizard. So what you have to do is, um, I'm just uh, showcasing the postman here. So we are using the same um, URL and the endpoint that we have used in that. So this is my endpoint that I'm using for creating the authentication. So once that is done, um, okay, so here, Okay, I have clicked on close. Let me <clears throat> show you that. Because here we have some things to look into. Okay, so once that is done, uh, what is the request method? So here, let me go to the postman because it's kind of same that whatever we have done here, just have to replicate over there. So it's a post request. So just go here and change this to post request and what are the headers that we have added in the postman so if you haven't watched the previous video authenticating using postman please watch that because i'm doing exactly what we have done there so what are the headers we have added we have added content type which is application slash json so i'm not going to add this that is fine um and i have to add the body so if you see the body is of type json right so what i'm going to do here so that's it here. Uh, I'm not going to add any headers. Um, and also the body, you can add it in two ways. Either you can add it as a parameter or else I'll show you how we can add it in other way. So it shows access denied because we have to provide in the body for that, right? So I'll just say, okay. So here, if you see, go to the properties panel and here in the properties panel, we can observe the endpoint is this and the method is post, right? So after that, the body format, okay? The body format I'm going to provide, it's a JSON format we have seen in the postman, right? So I'm just saying JSON and the body I have to pass it over here, okay? So how can I pass this body? It should be of the type string, right? So this one, I cannot pass it as a string because it will throw me an error that because it's not a string. So what I'm going to do, I will just take a read text file. And I'm going to save this particular, let me open that text file. So I'm going to take this text file here the whole body I have copied in the text file with the name auth details. So just save this and I'm going to call that particular file. Okay, so auth details.txt. So it would give me an output in a string format. Okay, so just give str auth details. Perfect, right? So here in the HTTP request, I have to pass this string. Let me go over here and under body, where is the body of this? Yeah, here I'm gonna pass str or details. Okay, so we have passed the body, we have passed the endpoint, the body format, and um, we have also mentioned what is the uh, method type, post method, right? And now it's time to see the, retrieve the output. So here I'm going to, take an output, which is str 
uh, auth result and the status code also I'm going to take. Okay, str auth status code. Fine, perfect, right? So that's it. That's it is the thing that we have to provide for the HTTP request, just similar to whatever we have done in the postman. Just give the body and the headers if there are any. The content type I didn't give because we have given the uh, body type, body format, okay? And I have given the endpoint URL and the method which is post. It's kind of similar that we have done in the postman and we got this result which is 200 the status code and these are the output like access token ID and barrier key and all these things, right? So now what I'm going to do, let's take a log. And here, first let's see the status code, okay? So, what is the status code variable that I have given? Or the status code, right? Let me check. So, it is str auth status. Okay, and what is the one more thing that I'm having? Basically, this is not string. This should be an integer. Okay, this is an integer, but I have given by mistake. Uh, so you can just uh, rename this if you wanted to. So you can just say str result. What is the result? Auth result, right? So this is it. Let me debug the file. It should return the status code as 200 and also the authentication results with access key and ID and everything. So now I'm going to debug the file and we will see how the process is running and creating an authentication to our cloud orchestrator. So if you're not sure what is there inside the authentic auth details, so I would suggest you to watch the um, uh, video on Postman because if you see here um, in this, whatever the text that I have passed, let me show you. So this is the text that I have passed. In this text, I have given everything in detail, okay? Like what is the refresh token, client ID refresh token and everything because um, that is very important. Um, uh, to, to, you know, get the authentication details and to establish the authentication. Okay. So I have shown you very clearly in that video, how you can retrieve these details from your cloud orchestrator. So that will be specific to every uh, tenant. Okay. So you can get it from there and let's see the output. So we've got the output 200 is a successful uh, message status code and also we've got all the details and now this access token this is the barrier key that we will be getting so let me copy this whole thing okay and i'll just paste it over here okay let me share the notepad So here, if you just observe um, in this, this is the message that I got, right? So we all know uh, this is in the JSON format, okay? But it has returned in the form of a string. Now the requirement is this access token, whatever we are getting here, this will be used uh, in order to perform all other orchestrator API calls that we are doing going forward. So let's say if you wanted to get the folders from the orchestrator, you should need this particular access token. So I have to retrieve this access token and I should keep it in a variable. So going forward, I can use this and perform all other API calls. So for that, uh, we have seen how you can retrieve this uh, if it is in this kind of JSON format by using certain activities. So if you're not sure how to do that, I would suggest you please watch the previous video, which is deserialized JSON. And I'll mention the link also uh, in the description. Please do watch that. You'll get enough understanding. And also you can able to retrieve the values from the JSON in any of the format of the JSON it is even if it's an array or if it's a normal JSON. So now I'm going directly to that uh, part I'm going to show you. So I'm going to copy this particular token value. So just copy this token in the studio. We know what to, what activity to use right. So this, this is a normal JSON. So I'm going to take deserialized JSON. Let's pull it into your workflow. 
so this actually accepts a string so what is my string output str auth result so just um, give that and this will return me a json object so just give auth json object okay so from this output we know how to retrieve uh, because we we have uh, clearly seen the video on this part so i'm going to retrieve the authentication value uh, access token value itself so from that auth j object i'm going to retrieve access token that i have copied from that whole output so i'm going to print this so this value i will be using going forward in order to perform all the orchestrator api calls so i am going to debug this so please do watch the previous videos because that will give you enough understanding of everything all the concepts very clearly so you don't miss out any of the details so basics will be strong and you can apply your concepts on any of the critical scenarios so here this is the access token that we've got right so this we will be using in the future videos and we will be seeing all other orchestrator api calls how we will be doing and the next video will be on uh, how to get folders from uh, your orchestrator using http request would be the first video and the next video would be using orchestrator http request so if you like the video please do let me know in the comments and if you are facing any issues also do comment it out i'll try to fix if you uh, if your issues are useful i'll try to make a video on it um, so thank you so much for watching do subscribe to my channel